morning guys welcome back to today's video today is thursday today gabby is riding she has riding lessons we haven't she hasn't ridden in a while because she missed last week yeah she missed a lesson we hardly ever miss lessons i think most equestrians rarely miss lessons here is a quick update on our garden next weekend is planting season as you can see our plants are ready to be planted this one's about to sprout tomatoes i don't even know what everything is anymore but we are ready to plant. I also have a bunch of peas, a bunch of beans. These are the things that I plant last minute, but I have a ton of them. Um, so those are all going in the garden this weekend. I told you guys that I've been spring a cleaning. I spring clean every January, I start spring cleaning because once summer hits, we never come inside. But this year has been different. I've been spring cleaning like crazy. Today I have a bunch of toys that I have for my grandkids that I'm gonna take to the secondhand store and get rid of them. We are trying to get this house clean and ready so that one day we can move. Come on, early bear. In other news, we've sold every single one of our chickens, uh, our baby chickens, except for two, and they're gonna go to their new home tonight. We still have all of our silkies. We're not sure which ones we're gonna keep. Silkies are hard to set. So we won't know for sure which ones we're keeping until after three months. So we still have the silkies. All the and only the chicken only the chicks that we're keeping, all the rest we've sold. Any of you guys that have been watching for a while know that there are snake there's a snake breeding ground under our front porch, which, make, which makes it me not be able to garden because every time I garden, there's snakes in the garden sunning themselves and it just freaks me out and I just can't go near the garden. Gardening used to be a big, huge part of my life. So last year, at the end of the year, I filled it up with a lot of dirt thinking that they wouldn't be able to get in there and I was partially successful. They couldn't get in there this year and now we found snakes all around the whole property and that's never happened before. So last night, Sophie was sitting on a swing on her swing you guys know Sophie has a swing and all of a sudden Molly started circling and Sophie was like what in the heck and she came up to a snake so last night our dogs experienced snakes for the very first time and I'm going to show you guys that footage now while we take this stuff to the second hand store and then when we get back we're going to do something fun with the horses <laughs> Sophie just called me apparently it bit Molly, it bit Molly? Whoa, whoa, I see it. Go get it. Oh, So I'm hoping that Sam will cut this grass today because before the end of today, I want to sit up, I want to set up a little area outside the trailer so that when we have friends over and we sleep here then we can we can have like a little area outside to sit so after the whole grandkids being sick in the trailer thing happened I was able to come out here and clean it all up <laughs> I washed all the blankets so I wanted to just bring them out and throw them out here another thing I love is hanging our blankets out to dry. So I was able to hang these ones outside to dry. So, oh my gosh, there's a spider. Uh. So they feel super, so they smell super amazing. The whole trailer smells amazing. I love it in here. But first horses, guys, first horses. I've got a little thing. Okay, she's so. She's huffing and puffing. She's huffing and puffing? She really she feels the heat. She really feels the heat. In my spot. So over the last four years of living here, we've acquired a lot of stuff. When we moved here, we purged so much of our stuff. But then since we've been here, we've just acquired so much stuff, ridiculous oh, amounts of stuff. So that's what my goal is this year. Oh wow, even Chino is hot. So my goal is to actually like get rid of stuff. So that when we're ready to move, we can. Hi. Oh, it's hard to brush your horse when you shave them. Stop, stop. Her stop. hair is growing back nice though. Gabby and Sophie are bringing a storm back into riding. So, I mean, he was riding. Little kids don't push horses to go to their fullest potential and that's okay. That's what beginner horses are best for, that they'll just plod along. We do school in the morning and by the time we come out in the afternoon to ride, today it got too hot. 
so so we're not gonna ride today. We still wanna do something with our horses today. It's too hot. I wanna take my horse for a walk. I just wanna oh. like go out there oh. and. Hey, 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 it's my idea. He's it scared was of mine. It was Sophie's idea. But He's before we go, surprised. before we do anything, we all chose who we wanted to bring. I wanted to bring Ellie, but I really wanna bring Penny. Going for a walk seems benign. It doesn't seem like it's awesome. I just don't like it because it's cold. <laughs> you don't like it? So we take them for walks because it desensitizes them and it gets them out, it gets them moving, gets us moving. But first, I'm gonna put some of this bug spray on Storm's ears. This stuff is really, really good and it works really good. It's just messy. Literally all along, I thought Chino was into Penny, but he's into Storm. He just follows him around like a puppy dog. Let me put this on your ears. Oh my goodness. Grabby, grab your horse. All right, there you go. So hopefully he's happy about it. Hopefully the bugs don't bother him. So a funny story about Storm. Let me just put it on you. He's like, don't put it on me. Uh, a funny story about Storm. So when we first got Storm, he was our first horse and he's really sensitive to bugs, but we didn't know that it was like a Storm thing. We thought it was an all horse thing. So we were the family that carried bug spray everywhere with us. No matter where we went, we bought like, bottles and bottles and bottles we'd have like three bottles open at a time and we'd be at the show and we'd have bug spray always attached to our pockets and we'd like spray him down before he went into the arena and everybody else that would be in our group would be like oh do you have bug spray and we are always the family that had bug spray and then after storm left to be uh leased we realized that it wasn't an all horse thing. Like we go to horse shows and don't even like think about bug spray anymore because most of our horses aren't, don't freak out about it. It's only a storm thing. He freaks out about the bugs, so. I actually hate this stuff that's called wipe, wipe, I think. Uh, it's disgusting, it stinks. You have to use your hands or cloth to, to apply it. You can't just spray it on. It works so good, but it's disgusting. Do you want bug spray? I already had it. But Did I have this stuff it? that's really I good. Know I'm using it. <laughs> I know, nobody Wait, likes you it. Smell it. All right, are we ready? I need elastics. Because you're gonna braid her hair? Yeah. Are they in those little. I already okay. checked. Oh, they're not in there. Then where are they in? I don't know. I put stuff in there and I saw it was in there. I honestly don't know where I put the elastics. That's the problem when you clean stuff. You oh, end up. Oh, you end up. Nothing. You end up putting stuff places and you don't know where they are. So before we go, I'm gonna show you a stretch to do with our horses. This is something I want us to learn. Backwards. No, it's not just legs. So our chiropractor and our massage therapist has taught us a bunch of... Minnie, Minnie, Minnie. The Minnie's like, I do not know you and I do not lift my foot for you. Hey Gabby, move. <laughs> Easy. All right. All right. Horses are particular. No, 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 no. Put it back. Now hold it up and forward. Flex forward it to its elbow. Yeah, good girl. That's what I was going to teach you. Like it. So there's that. So basically, what you do is you pull it up first. Oh my God, she does not bend. You touch it to here, and then you touch it to her chestnut, wherever her chestnut is. And then. You pull it all the way forward. Yeah, feels good. Good girl. Let me see you do it, because we do it to the back too. She just picks her foot right up. And then touch to the chestnut on the other side. And then it, you reach forward, but you won't be able to do it there. <laughs> forward. <laughs> that's, not, that's not good, okay. There, give me your foot. Forward. This is something that I learned in our first aid class. And then, and no, and then cross it over and touch it to his chestnut. She did it. And then pull it all the way forward. Like this? No, all the way forward. Yep. Stretch him out. That's it. Oh, he's like, I don't like it. And then gently put it down. Don't, like, take it back. Yeah, there you go. Oops. <laughs> and then do the other side. Whew, I need to go get my horse. Gina, leave my horse alone. Touch it, yeah, and then there, and then pull it forward, yep. So that's a really good stretch out for them, and then there's a back one. 
And then there's another one where you, we've already know this one though, where you scratch their belly. Come on over here and we'll do it together. And then he'll, and then they lift it up. Yeah, I know we've done that one a lot. Ugh. Gracie is in high alert. So that is why it's a problem. I'm already exhausted. I'm already exhausted. So this is, a, so Penny was out a few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago. Excellent. Chino's in the background, screaming at the top of his lungs. Storm moved past Penny and then poof, Penny was a monster. <laughs> so anyways, I'm really good at like stopping her, making her back up and making her listen. She knows the whole drill. As soon as I stop her, she looks at me in the eye. Before I can even say back up, she's backing up. <laughs> and then she asked me for a treat. All right, let's go. Let's go. Try and stay with the herd, Penny Pickle. And you're not walking me, I'm walking you. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I get. These walks on the road tell you so much about your horses. Like, our vet taught me how to listen for Penny's paka 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 paka. She has a four beat gait and how to tell, like, different areas of her body. Penny. Chill the heck out. Stop. Right now. Stop. Stop. Back up. Now stop. Calm yourself down. From this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way. Up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down. Every time I try and film, Penny takes advantage of me. <laughs> the storm's loving it! See? The head throw? Oh, no. Cool. Hey, Don't let her have a bite, that's not fair. We let them eat grass when the cars go by. I do I do. Wait, you're going too fast now. There used to be a time when I had Penny that I was terrified of horses running up behind her. But she's all good now. All right, we're having a break. The, <laughs> the leader of our group declared a break. Are we going back now? All right, let's at least go to the green barn. You ready, Penny? We're going. I missed you. <laughs> Do you remember all the saddle pads we went through with Storm? Yeah, there's another car. All right, so this is what we do when there's a car. We just put them to grass and let them eat. Okay, I don't want you to run into it. And we pray that the car will slow down and do what it's supposed to do. I forgot to wear our high vi stuff, but I wanted to like clarify that in Canada, it's totally different. Like we don't have the same kind of rules, laws, roads issues that they have in Europe. We have big huge roads and we have rules of the road for horses. I'm sure you guys do too. But we stood sh we should still wear it and I want my kids to still wear it and I was planning to grab it and then I forgot. Go eat. Go outside and eat. So another thing is, is that storm is horrible in the sun. No, storm didn't want to be in the sun so he came back in. So they fed him breakfast this morning and he went out and it was like it's too hot out here for me. I'm coming back in. He came back in so they fed him up in underneath the tree so that he'd have some shade. Oh, are you tired? Are you tired, Gabby? Yeah. You're wearing a hoodie for goodness sake. But I still walk faster than you. <laughs> yep, you did. I was just thinking the exact same thing. All right, I need help. So I want outside the trailer to be like a little sitting area. I could technically put the couch along here and make it face the trailer, which actually might be better but it's not very even over there. And I wanna be able to sit back here and like get a suntan, cause I love suntanning. I could also put it back there. Sam says that we can change the fire pit and put the fire pit over here so that we just have like one whole camping area. I have another of these chairs I wanna bring over here. So the issue is, is that you can see when people come around the corner there on the road, you can see over here really clearly. And I kinda of want a little bit of privacy. There's not very much privacy on this property. It's a struggle because 
I like to sit out here and get sun and suntan. And I want like the grandkids to be able to play back here. I want to be able to put like a little little pool that I can fill with water, like just a little one and, and for the dogs too. So that they can play out here and we can spend time outside. But I forgot what summer is like. I forgot what summer is like and I'm not sure I want to spend any time outside. It's scorching. I'm gonna wait for Sam to get off the finished cutting grass and then I'm gonna get him to come over here and and help me figure it out. Because I'd like some of it in the shade and then some of it in the sun. So I might put it back here a little bit where there's some shade from that tree. I don't know. I don't know, but I definitely wanna set up a little area over here for the trailer, for the grandkids, and for the girls and I, and for the dog. Don't you know that you're beautiful?